To tip or not to tip? That's the question we asked of a, an etiquette expert just a couple of weeks ago after learning 60% of WDIV insiders feel tipping has gone too far. It had a lot of people talking, and you'll likely have some thoughts of your own about this next story. A Detroit woman says the owner of an ice cream shop tracked her down on social media for not leaving a tip. Pamela Osborne joins us live to explain from the Midtown ice cream shop that's been the center of controversy before. Pamela. Kimberly, last year, uh, Cold Truth was saying that it would no longer serve law enforcement officers who showed up to its store in body armor. As you can imagine, as you remember, it caused quite the stir. Well, tonight, we're speaking with a customer who says she was shamed on social media in her inbox by the owner of this ice cream shop for not leaving a tip. I felt attacked, and to search me out, um, to leave a message like that uh, was just unheard of. Shantae Fagans had hoped to end her Sunday on a sweet note. I went to Flower Day, uh, Easter Market, had a great time. After that, she and a friend stopped by Cold Truth, her favorite vegan ice cream shop. Shantae says their order came to about $12. She paid by card. You usually leave a tip, yes. This time, she says she didn't tip because she didn't have the extra money to give. Not long after, I had gotten a message from the owner, which was kind of strange. The DM sent direct from Cold Truth's Instagram account read in part just writing a note to convey that we operate in a tipped business model, adding the cost of ingredients have doubled, but they have chosen not to pass those costs down to customers. The note signed Tim goes on to say, if we haven't risen to a level that you feel is worthy of a gratuity, we absolutely understand. So those are discretionary, the jars, the screens. We talked to etiquette expert Danielle Kovakovich and the general topic of tipping. She said it's up to the customer. To say when in doubt, you should tip if you can, if your budget supports it, if the moment moves you. And that's what Shante wants the shop's owner, Timothy Mahoney, to understand. I didn't have it that day. Um, did you think about that? You know, I could be on a budget. I just wanted to treat me and my friend to ice cream, and I just had money just for that. Shantae says she called and spoke with the store's owner after receiving that message. She was hoping for an apology, but she didn't get one and hasn't gotten one since. She said that he doubled down on his message, which is what we saw in some of those Instagram posts on her original message about this back and forth dispute. I should mention we did try to get Tim to speak with us and, and share his side of the story of all of this, but he declined to comment. Reporting live in Midtown, I'm Pamela Osborne. Local four. You know, a lot of people have thoughts about this story, Pamela. We appreciate you reporting tonight. Good.